Into the pit is a retro FPS, aka a boomer shooter. We have a, several of these things lined up for this uh, this period of Steam Next Fest uh, activities. Welcome, my name is Mike B, aka Phony. We are reviewing, uh, we're doing a first look uh, of this game. It's planned to be released October 19th. Uh, this year just before Halloween of course so in this game you are gonna be we are a magic wielder uh, it is a roguelite uh, where you have these uh, shifting dungeons procedurally generated uh, dungeons rather um, and then you can collect items that allow you to uh, I guess kind of program and a uh, kind of key in seeds or something uh, to uh, get a desired outcome whenever you have a, gen a dungeon uh, generated so we're gonna get in we're gonna take a look at it uh, empty slot let's do it Demo version, upper right corner, just make sure you know. This is pretty in a uh, pre-rendered cinematic from the Heretic uh, days. See, uh, Luridia, my cousin, they call me foolhardy, but you are more reckless than even our grandfather. Your pursuit of arcane knowledge is admirable, but this time I fear you have gone too far. It looks pretty good and like it just it really does have that that flavor uh, i knew you were following a rumor through the wastelands a scent of dark rituals allowing access to other worlds but since your last missive begging me to come here i have heard nothing it is not like you a prolific writer to become so abruptly silent so we're going to investigate Ooh, that looks welcoming so I promised to find you, and now I am here, at the outskirts of a desolate hamlet, under dark, eldritch skies. What did you discover, Loridia? Are you still here? And if not, have you left a trail for me to follow? I'm loving the visuals. Overall, let's wait till we get in the game. Wow, what that, that was a huge guitar riff about to land right there. Jesus, holy crap. I know it was that raw iron fence, but gee, it really felt like it was someone's gonna come leading in. All right, here we go. All right, let me go ahead and make my one change. I actually already changed this. Uh, I just guessed, and I was way off. It was over here. <laughs> so I'm gonna drop that down. Uh, that's wow, really? That's I, wow. It was almost like it did nothing actually. Let's just drop that to basically nothing here. Let me see. Wow, still, huh? So the, 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 the settings here, I'm going to lower the DP on my mouse here, and that maybe I can find. Okay, pretty good. Cool. Pretty good. Uh, I think that thing's broken because there was basically no change there. Uh, let me see. Um, so, so, ah, hello, Outlander. I'm afraid you have caught me at a bad time. Normally, I would be able to offer you valuable exchange services. However, my vault is locked and my inkwells are dry. Okay, cool. Oops. Uh, there's simply no point in operating my business without clients to provide for. 18 or so returned villager, vill villagers would make it worth my while. Go forth and, and extricate them. That's right. Yeah, it's one of the things that you can do in this game is you could go and you get... Um, the FOV, FOV feels kind of tight, too. But you rescue vill villagers to populate. Uh, actually, in upper right corner, it says rescue villagers. Zero out of 45. Let's go take a look at the settings. Grant video settings here. Oh, nothing. Uh, maybe it's under something else. Quality settings? Uh-oh. I mean, all this stuff is great. But is there no way to, I mean, control, you know, let's see. Can I really not sell my FOV? Oh my god, I'm about to have a total biscuit right now. You gotta be shitting me. I'm trying to scroll up and down on here. I am not blind, right? Here's what we're gonna do. Let's see the options that exist here. Sometimes they do that. No, okay. Okay, now until the okay, so there's no command or anything. I mean, why would they do that? Um, wow. Well, okay, we could probably just look past that. <laughs> it just felt a little tight. That's all. <laughs> just a little bit. Oh God. Wow, we're off to a great start. I mean, I'm still sold on the graphics, so whatever. Okay, town clerk. No, no, no. We don't want to do that. We want to go to. Uh, I'm guessing all of these are going to be people that you know ring a bell. And it says, who is it, Outlander? Go away, I cannot help you. My workshop is damaged by the last demonic quake and I can't fix it myself. Normally I would assist you in constructing ritual runes and empower you within the pit. But with the workshop in disarray, there is nothing I can do. Perhaps if you could, we were here to rescue uh, some of my... Oh, we were to rescue some of my colleagues, we would restart the machines. Yes, 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 of course, of course. Another bell. Let me see, what are you? Okay, yes. Okay, let me see, a seer? Enchanter, oh, okay. I could kind of figure out what you do. 
Okay, now let's go. Is this the uh, ritual keeper? Okay. Whoa. Alright, so we just got a bunch of things, so that means we're going in somewhere here, right? Ooh, oh, sigils. Okay, see support rune. Okay, awesome. So I can put these things here. Rune is second wind, beginning's journey into the pit with the cheat death ability already partly charged. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, and I have uh, key to the obsidian fort. The obsidian rune unlocks a labyrinth of stone full of foul beasts and traps. Oh, okay. And so that will, you know, we confirm the ritual and we go in. So this is how you program these things. Uh, I say program, but you know, like you, you basically, uh, you slot these things and it allows you to be in the pit of digital health. Um, kind of program what the, uh, program again. Uh, <laughs> what, what you're going to get. Uh, once you get into the ritual here. That looks really nice. I guess I just jump in. <laughs> I wasn't sure. <laughs> Could just kill me right there. Let's see, uh talk to the ritual keeper. Oh, okay. Yes, Outliner is me, but this far casting spell won't last for long, so listen carefully. In each level of the pit, there are four altars that you need to activate in order to dive deeper. To activate the altar, you must enter the chambers leading from this room and destroy the keystones hidden within. Activating an altar will also reward you with an orb of power, or absorb it to increase the potency of your abilities. Alright. Keystone chambers also contain healing pools, lost villagers, with treasures in the form of elemental moats. Some moats you can trade for runes in the village, others will help you progress here in the pit. I will gift you three orbs of power now. You can select spells to cast from both your hands, uh, and enchantments from your armor. Choose your powers wisely, enter the chambers, and destroy the keystones within. And here he goes, our, our first set of powers here. Uh, let's see, hey, oh, choose one. Oh, crap, okay, hold on. This is my defensive power, so this gives us a good idea of what to expect. Um, we play this, I think like uh, Gunfire Reborn, all right? Which I'm sure probably uh, a lot of you have at least heard of or played. Uh, increase your movement speed, uh, haste plus one, frenzied resentment, ch chance to enrage uh, after being injured. Okay, and then deflects back a percentage of melee damage. Okay, deflection sounds pretty nice, but increased move speed is great. Ooh, the music's getting pretty intense. Upgrade my powers. See the bomb fires uh, slow moving, but expense explosive long range projectiles absorb this power into your right hand. And then this one is uh, also right hand, so right hand, right hand. Okay, we're choosing the right hand power. Um, fires focus. So what do I want my right click to do? Fires long range, higher power projectiles, absorb power, okay. I would say, yeah, explosive. And then we'll do the left hand. Little hand icon. Fires right, mid-range scatter. Oh, I guess, you know what? Jeez, I should probably, hmm. So the right one is going to be different. It's going to be like a, like a secondary ability, ability right? And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to see those same ones over here. I was kind of wondering, I was kind of thinking I would get some of those same abilities on my right hand, on my left hand. Because one of those looked pretty good for like a left click. Uh, let me see, uh, fires a burst. Can I actually back out of this window if I don't want to pick anything right now and go see what's on the other side? I can't. Oh, damn, that sucks. <laughs> so if I if I want to inspect both to come up with the best combination, I can't do that. I'm committed to this one now. Uh, let's see, fires mid-range, scattering projectiles. Let's see, the short-range blast projectiles fired in quick bursts. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, okay. And then fires burst long, long range. Let's go long range. Okay, and we can test them here, right? Nice. Yeah, I can do that. Shock rifle. Oh my god, I thought I did it for a second. Okay. Anyways, where are we going? Oh, uh, this door. Chamber of luck. Destroy three keystones. Alright, here we go. Action. Oh, they got a little health above their heads. Oh, wow, this is not really a boomer shooter, like, in the traditional sense, for sure. Visuals were, were misleading, but, yeah, now that I'm getting in to see, you know, the cinematics and everything, uh... And trailers, they don't show this part, huh? Probably because it's kind of a funky look. Oops, I just blasted myself. I'm uh, hitting shift key, control, I'm looking for a uh, slide or a, anything like that. Just check out the controls. Actually, I'll see if I turn off the... Uh... Oh, I guess he's going to stand there against that wall. Wow, this music is kicking, holy shit. <laughs> uh, I'm actually, you know what, I'm a, I'm a, just a smidge because I, I, I can already tell that the recordings are very difficult to mix. Um, okay. So anyways, uh, let's go to the controls real quick and just take a look, just take a quick browse. 
Oh, there really isn't any other. Okay, so it's just it's just basic, just basic. Uh, and then let's go back to those uh, to the video settings. And okay, there's not gonna be any. So this is not a lot of options then. Options are pretty thin overall. Um, yeah, you, so you can't remove the health numbers or the numbers popping up, uh, and you can't remove the health bars. So two things I don't feel like are necessary, but you know it's um it's their game, so you know <laughs> they can do what they want. I guess once you get up to a certain point, I mean, that is a lot of hits. Um, once you get up to a certain point where you're juggling multiple enemies, you kind of want to see the numbers, maybe? But I'm just thinking like a room full of dudes in Doom, you know? Like, I don't I don't need to see their health. I know that those guys take two shots with the shotgun. Uh, those guys take one. <laughs> and if I get really close to this big guy over here, I could do it in two. All right, so destroy the keystone. Oh, hold E. All right. I already know it's going to be a turn off for a lot of people right away. The numbers. Destroy keys. Okay, so it's just one room. It wasn't really like a dungeon or anything. But this is just this one one room in this out of this hub here, right? Yes, that's what I did. Okay, I did good. I'm guessing that minute 43 stopped after I killed the last dude, not actually destroyed the things. Because a minute 43, we were in there for much longer than that. All right, so this guy's gonna give me some new stuff. Is that how it works? Now you have survived the Keystone Chamber. Oh, I guess I should probably just... Please, oh wait, uh, uh select, please, oh wait, you, you may select your reward. If none of the options, uh, please you, you have enough modes of renewal, you can summon up a new selection. I should just whisper, actually. Uh, spell, oh, I'm not reading this whole thing. Uh, spell upgrades come in different power levels, and gathering modes of luck will increase the appearance of the higher level options. Okay, so gather, okay. Uh, for this order to have you, uh, uh, first of all, I have used uh, my powers to grant you uh, the highest upgrades, but after this, you must rely on your own. Okay. Now collect your reward, activate the remaining altars in this chamber to dry, dive deep, deeper into the rift. Okay, so. Let me see. Curse. Uh, projectiles from your left hand apply curse your enemies, causing outgoing attacks to hurt the attacker. Okay, so there's there dot there are dots basically is what it's saying, and you know that's fine. You know I did I did compare this thing to Gunfire Reborn, uh, in terms of the in, in terms of like the actual uh, uh, features and the gameplay flow. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised that there's gonna be health bars <laughs> uh, and feebling bolts. A project somewhere from your right hand and apply weakness to your enemies, reducing their damage. Just poison and melee attack. Okay, so I want to see what the um, let me see. Curse damage 30. I want to see what a tick looks like. I see that I could reset or refresh my options down there too, which is nice. All right, so there's a beam here. I'm guessing this beam is green at the one that I went in. Oh, I chose one of those two. Okay, so there's a choice here. And one of them has that swirly bit. One of them has that. Okay, cool. So this is pretty common in these games. Uh, Monster Train comes to mind. Uh, Hellfire Reborn or Gunfire Reborn. Uh, basically, they give you, you know, a path that you could go down. In each one to kind of so you can synergize better with your builds or something like maybe your maybe your dude sucks against uh fire or water based or fire based and awesome against water based or whatever whatever the runes mean these guys are exceptionally gory there's no bloom which is nice shots just kind of go where they go or where you want them to go doesn't seem to be any bloom you see yep nope just like shock rifle so if I miss, it's my fault. Oh. It's my wave two. Or my tier two, I guess, what you want to call it. What does that do? Nothing, okay. Slow me down, dog. I can break him now. What? No, I can't? Come on. Oh, well, I guess I could do it before, because I killed the last guy, so. I'm looking for a timer on the screen, I don't see it. I see my health, I see uh, the 3 out of 10. Huh, what does the 3 out of 10 represent? And then 3 of these, see minute 15. Maybe it was. Yeah, you know what, I like these little compartmentalized, like, progress here, because I can stop after any one of these, and they only take, like, as you saw, a minute 15. And then I get an upgraded thing. Huh, this is an interesting way of doing this. Hmm. 
Risk of Rain, uh, Gunfire Reborn. Risk of Rain, well, this Risk of Rain is, is much different than this. Gunfire Reborn is definitely the carbon copy of this game. Well, you know, or vice versa. Let me see. Projectiles from your left hand apply bleeding to your enemies, causing damage over time. How about, yeah, we just do more dots, right? See, projectiles in your uh, right hand have increased rate of fire. Mm. If enemy dies while afflicted, the affliction could spread a number of foes. Nah, man, there's fucking dots everywhere. Yeah, let's do another one. I'm hungry for this now. This is what happens in the first impression, right? Like, my mood sways, like, dramatically. It's like, oh my god, is that what this thing has? Oh, health bars? Oh my god. And then I'm just like, well, hold on a second, I'm hooked. Ah. Damn it. Always the right hand I miss. That's why I wanted to put a long range precision thing on the left click. Because I'm, like, at least 50% accurate with that. And what I'll try to do, if I could get a little bit of space here... Damn, these imps. They throw that shit close. I don't give a shit about Splashback. No lava for me to fall in anywhere. Or if that's by design. I don't think I saw any of the last level either. I wonder if there's just no... Oh, dang it. Okay, I can't fucking... Oh, God. Would you give me, give me a minute? Oh, what? That was it? Oh, it was only the one. Uh, boy, that was easy. <laughs> I just went in there expecting three. Uh, it, it should it says right when you go in how many you need, I guess. Uh, let me see. Rapid. Put your left hand increase rate of fire. Oh, that's kind of nice. I'm kind of just clicking, but, um, does your right hand increase damage? Ooh. So you're in rage if you click emote. Rage, okay, yeah, let's do this one. You're the one that I'm missing all the time. Okay, so now we gotta go to the next altar. Let's see what this one says. What is this one? Like wind or something? Water? I don't know. <laughs> this is fuck, Captain Planet rules. I don't know. Every level looks the same. Moat of luck. Two keystones. Now, now that we know that we could finish it without uh, killing everything, let's just go get it. Oh. Am I stuck on a wall? Well, kind of. I want to get it. Oh, they're covered up when you're up close. Until you're up close because um, they don't want you sniping them from afar. That would make those wall things, or those giant MCP looking things be, uh, oh, it's my starting room. Too easy. Okay, Jesus, so fucking amazing here. All modes collected, oh hey, bonus. Oh, can't move at all. This would be pretty sick multiplayer. Okay, so now we get the middle one, right? Leave this dungeon death. Let's do it. It's part of the return to the village. This will end uh, your current dungeon run. Your powers will be removed. Oh, wait. Choose a destination. I don't want to go. Uh, to open the portal, you must activate all four. Oh, okay, hold on. Then I, I missed something then. Oh, it's, yeah, I didn't get my thing. I was so anxious to go. I just want to get to the next area. I want to see how hard this gets. Uh, you also does replenish health when an enemy dies. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Put it in your right hand. You increase damage to enemies under 20% health. Jesus. Pierce through enemies. Ooh, that's always a good one. That's always a good one. Okay, so there we go. Done. Aha! Jeez. Oh, hold on. Okay, I'm scared. Exit to further. Okay. So now, aha, deeper into the pit. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking go. Yeah, I, I don't mind this setup. I really don't. You go in, you get an upgrade. He's going to tell me some more stuff. Hold on. You may have descended from the level above. Now you're familiar with all these chambers work. Be sure to look out for lost friends. There are a number of villagers hiding within each dungeon. If you find uh, chambers of the lost, speak to them. I'm sure they will feel safe turning the village. If enough return, they might offer your help here. Okay, cool. So this was, uh, this is the fire room. Well, that's the blood room. Let's go to the blood room. At least it's guaranteed to match. Oh, not really. Everything's green now. <laughs> what the hell? I love the hand effect, though. Like, the, or the hand uh, sprite whenever you fire something. Big splash. Nice. Oh, I love this. This is some serious Unreal Tournament level design. Hold up. This game's not fucking multiplayer? 
It's not. Oh my god. Like, dude, what? How? It's a crying. What is this thing? Do you do anything? Are you a spawner? Wait. Oh, just give me a mode of blood. Okay, cool. I have a few of those. What? Oh, oh shit. Okay, okay. There are there are liquid. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. So there is uh, poisonous or killer liquids in the game. I just wanted to verify that. All right, so. Nope, yeah, okay, no more, yeah, okay. So what, I gotta do it again? Fine. Whatever. No one wants, I think all of them will talk to me, but none of them will. Yeah, see, so you need logic, okay. Oh, well, maybe I should talk to them all. Uh, let me see, activate four altars, oh. Complete two pit dungeons, oh, okay, never mind, I'm just getting like, new tasks here. Is it my journal? No, these are journals, actual journal stuff. Progress, right bumper here. My controls that I plugged in. Uh, let me see. Don't okay. So obsidian forest runes, and then yeah, that's right. Okay, okay. Mode of gold. Let me see. There you go. Uh, used to buy runes. Okay, so let's see the rune guy. I know there's um the enchantress. What are you, the merchant? He doesn't want to talk to me really. Uh, the town clerk. I mean, let's just click through. Okay. It was just chance that I got a bunch of pop-ups while I was talking to that. Let's see, go away! Ah, uh, my books. Yeah, okay, see? Yeah, none of these guys want to talk to me until I get more. Okay, I'm stuck. Key master. Key maker. Oh, close, close. So many villagers. Yes, everyone's upset. Got it. Okay, well, we just, at least we confirmed we got rid of all those nasty... Oh, they're back. The exclamation marks everywhere. <laughs> okay, so, boom. And then... CAC begin each journal of the pit with a small amount of moats and renewal. Okay, sure. And then it's gonna throw another one on there. Just gonna keep stacking it. And that will move from the other side. Oh, completely. Okay, I see the oh, obsidian fortress. Let's do it. Let's do it. Can I jump in before the, the ritual completes? <laughs> I'm just trying to die. Uh, orbs of power appear whenever an altar is activated. You can use them to gain new powers or upgrade existing ones. That's right. That's right. All right. So we know the drill. We see mighty heart increased damage and health is uh, 90% or higher. Enemy dies while afflicted. Okay. Rage. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. So now, again, let's try. We cannot back out of this. Okay. Just checking. Fires the focus stream of projectiles. Those orbs of power. Okay. That's cool. Shotgun. Ooh. Shotgun sounds pretty good. I'm getting in people's faces. So fires long range, high powered projectiles. Those orbs power. Okay. No. It's just shotgun. Hell yeah. Shotgun. We see swarm mid-range scattered projectiles. That sounds great. Fires mid-range projectiles widespread patterns. We something long, yeah. Uh, absorb this power into your right hand. Fires long range, high powered uh, projectiles. Uh, I don't know if long range is really the answer, but yeah, let's do it. Oh, precision. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, Dan, can I switch hands? All right, let's go. That symbol looks like that symbol on the door looks like Hyrule or something. Oh, duh, it's the symbols of the fucking moats. The moats, I'm so dumb. Man, it's the moats. Wow, that's really high powered. Holy crap. Nice. That's gotta be able to aim. But seriously, it's backwards. So yeah, the moats have a, um, oh, that I'm picking up. That's the symbol. I need to collect those. I can turn those into runes, etc., etc. Yeah, it's all coming together, guys. It's all coming together. Are they wearing hard hats? Like miner caps or something like that? They have little flashlights on them. Are those are these like a mining community or something? Okay, let's grab this. Oh. It's just for fun. Collect all my moats. Oh, there's two of them, that's right. Got my moats. What a cute shotgun sound. Like, that needs work. <laughs> I know it's not a real shotgun, but it's still... It should have, like, a bursting sound, you know? Burst! That's what I need. Alright, so everybody's clean. Now we get no record or anything. Are there any leaderboards or anything? I figure with this kind of time results and everything, there'd be leaderboards. I don't see anything. Hmm. Alright. Oh, no, my friend's not gonna telecast into here. Um... C project, a prisoner from your right hand, increase critical hit chance. Oh, that's pretty good. Left hand, inflict additional damage on critical hits. Oh, let's do that. Shotgun blast. 
Every bullet has its own crit calculator, probably. Oh, hmm. Uh, duh. Let me see. What do I need more of then? Let me see. Uh, seven, ten. Okay, so I need blue, red, and and and, and purple. So blue. Blue, blue. Let's move back here. Is, oh, these guys actually take more than one hit now. Are they miners? Like they have mining caps on. <laughs> these guys do too. I feel like they all do. This is a pretty good weapon here. Q, Q. I'm gonna shred your body with my left hand. Pew. Pew, pew, pew. Listen to that kick, though, man. Listen to this. Listen to this beat. Dang. Thing is thumping, man. I feel like I'm in Blade and shit. Ow. Oh. I didn't even check to see if there's somebody else in the room. I just went for it. <laughs> Yay, good job. One minute. They I mean, look quick runs. This is good. See, I almost left again. See, slow me slows melee attackers, which does from your right hand increase damage. There's a left hand to increase damage. Enemies under 20% health. Oh my god, that thing's gonna wreck everything. 20% though. Hmm. Shotgun. Let's just do right hand increase damage. Because I'm either gonna kill him in like one or two hits, but the first hit's never gonna get him down to under. Like, it's rarely gonna get them down to under 20%. Like, consistently, right? Like, okay, so he's just dead. Not 20%. Not, definitely not 20%, but I was also really far away. Just dead. <laughs> just dead. Yeah, so I think just making this thing hella strong is probably the best bet. Not 20%. <laughs> I mean, it adds up, you know, they'll just die. They just melt anyway, so it was still. Right click supreme. Oh, I didn't break the damn thing. Whoops. Yeah, it's, it's starting to come around to this title here. To this little game. It's doing a number on me. I should break them before I leave the room. I don't know what I'm doing. Now there's not automatic regenerate. What on earth? What year is this? I don't mind that at all. You guys know me. You guys know me. Pain! <laughs> Make me miserable. Alright. Hold up. Hold up. I'm missing a moat over in Newell. Alright, it's gone. Right, how many was I missing? Like one, I think. Yeah, just one. Everybody's dead though. Let me see. Put your right hand, apply poison. Reduces incoming damage. Projectiles from your left hand will quickly hit if you have not cast this hand for a few seconds. Oh well, that's wait, will critically hit? I wonder if there's a marker for that. Like if it pops up. Yeah, critical breath right there on the left. And it fades. There's a long time if it's gonna come back. Okay, it was just telling me that I had it then, I guess. Okay, fine. Uh, let me see. No, no, I really don't need either one of them. Probably more of this than anything. Alright, so there's just no marker for it. Oh gosh. It sounds like spiders. Let's see how much damage it does. 99999. 999. Nine four. What was that? Nine. And then let's wait. Let's wait a second. See how long it takes for us to come back. We'll fire this a couple times. Maybe it'll have to uh, trigger after that. Well, let's see then. Fourteen. Okay. So we'll just do our own test then. Let's see. Fourteen. Nine. Nine. Okay. So how long is it then? That's those. Hmm. Hmm. Am I out of enemies? Let me see. Oh. 14 was in there, but I don't know if the first shot was a whiff somehow. 
yeah, I thought it would, it would be nice if it showed us, you know? Like, actually showed us when it was available. Uh, pierce through enemies. Wow, shotgun goes through my fucking enemies. That's really hard to pass up. Um, and increase your health. Bonus health. Yeah, that's a lot of projectiles, dude. Let's do it. It's probably not the right choice, but you know. Who cares? Oh shit, we're ready to the next, next area. Let's do it. Let's go deeper into the pit. I don't even know how long this episode is. I'm having fun. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Uh, blood. The room looks about the same at a first... Oh, nice. New map. Suckers. Oh, snap. Look at this. Oh, damn. New, new bad guy. Whoa, okay, whoa, whoa. That's really risky. Oh, the piercing on this. Oh, just melting dudes in layers. I love it. Oh, shit. Okay, trap. Probably another trap. Oh, fuck. I just called that shit, didn't I? Moto blood. Like, give me. Can you give me? There we go. Cheat death available. Oh, great. Awesome. 14, yep, okay, so. Going another way. Creepy ass monster thingies. Oh, that looks bad. Fucking YOLO, I don't know. I have a cheat death available, so I won't die uh, if somebody swings on me. Okay. Okay. It's handy that I can see the fucking. Beam. It's kind of like the Luxor or the Stratosphere Tower in Vegas or any tall, tall building you may have in your town. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, for reals? Wing it. Oh, you. Forgot about you. Oh, fuck me. That's really convenient. And to lift up his uh, shield. Eight health, boy. Let me see. This sounded. Oh yeah, that was a trap going off. That I had forgotten about way too many times. This one right there. That one I remembered. <laughs> oh gosh, sorry. Too easy. Too easy. Now you should get some some awesome shit now, right? Let's see. Left hand apply weakness to your enemies. Uh, venom bolts. Just left uh, right hand apply poison to your enemies. Cause damage over time. Reduce damage when health is under twenty five percent. Okay. Well. Uh, let's do weakness. That scatter effect is basically poisoning a bunch of people at once. Uh, definitely haven't seen this one in a bit. Watch out for that trap. And also that guy. Did I just bounce off of him? I think I just did. I think I, I swear I just jumped off of him. Oh, I'm still able to one shot these guys. Whoa, surprise. Oh, I just got attacked from the back. Cheat death. Wow, that was a beautiful effect. I love that. Love that. Fuck. I don't even know if I can go through that. I just won't, you know? Didn't get my full health back, but... No. Oh, man. Oh, another one. This is a good combo. I mean, I'm sure the other weapons are great also, but this one just feels good. Especially with that automatic crit after a certain amount of time. I don't even care if I got all the moats. Oh, we're missing one? Come on. Let me see. Increase your maximum health by 10? Oh, the other one was 30, wasn't it? Uh, pierce through enemies. Oh, number of pierces, one or two. The right hand apply poison to enemies, cause damage over time. Uh, you gotta stack it. Let's keep going, man. <laughs> Get as many as we can. Oh, they haven't seen this. Oh, this is an interesting one. Is that one of my things? 
Ooh, let's see. A villager's rescued. Oh, snap, about to get a villager. See, aren't you glad you hung out? Now we can see how this works. Destroy one keystone. Well, hold on a second. Ah, whoa, oh my God. Can you imagine? I came down here because the Alderman said it would be safer. What a fool I am. Please remove the keystone here uh, and I can return to my work. All right. Oh, I probably would have worked anyways. You just go in here and hit the button and let them in. Oh, I thought I had to fight for it. I guess I've earned it. Results. No demon. No, no, no people collected. Well, we have it. He's back at the thing. I've uh, seen Lich has increased range. Ooh, wow, shotguns with increased range. Uh, you will sometimes replenish health uh, when an enemy dies. Oh my god. Okay, hold on though. 70% uh, chance to gain health. Yeah, I mean, as much as I would love to do this, just full glass cannon, like, we gotta have something. We're in it, man. Right? Right? You guys? You and me? We got this. We got this. Let me see. I'll make good decisions, I promise. Blood. Okay. I guess more of those. We clearly used all of them when we did our, um, our move. Oh! Every, every game like this has one of these. If you're in hell, you have a flying skull. You. Woo, baby. But yeah, I use the, um... Does it do anything? Okay. I use my blood motes when I, uh, cheat death. Cheated death. Okay, dude. Did you stand still? Okay, thank you. I should just send that first. Fuck. Creepy? Oh, that was, that was a creepy monster. What the heck? Woo! Give me an FOV slider, and this game's at least 8, eight out of 10. That thing's a purple thing. I gotta kill something or flip a lever. Put this. Let's follow the redstone trail. Oh, you say go this way? What? Hold on, is there a secret up there? No, okay. Let's say it looks like a platform I could jump up on. Alright, and then over here, and then over here, and then. Ah! We are almost there. And that removes the purple door. Or it's a pressure plate and you have to go and find a big old, a big, big block to pick up and maneuver around that crazy jump pad array. And then you have to place it on the pad so you could go through. Uh-huh. Just like old times. See, Grim Reward, you will sometimes plan health when an enemy dies. Oh. Chance to gain health, 100%. Every time I kill an enemy. Yeah, this is our chance to do it. I, I, I'm not even gonna look at the other ones, but well, I looked at one of them, and, and it just looked like I made the right choice. Deeper into the pit. Oh, I guess you know I could have gone back up, and that would have been a perfect way to end this video. <laughs> no, death only. Oh, what is this? That's definitely new. Yeah, runes. Yeah, I don't know this picture, but we're gonna find out. Chamber of Respite, destroy one keystone. Oh, but we get one of these. Oh, what did it give me? A mode of Lux. Okay. Or Motes of Luck, rather. Vanishes when leaving the pent. Okay, so this is the this is the mo this is the currency that you spent in the pit that, that dude was talking about. Oh, and then there's a like a paper here or something. Um, my descent to the pit has been one of terror and oh, there's a there's a underlying story here. Oh grandma, okay. Well, that's cool. <laughs> All right, and we get a we get a gift. Wow, this is I love that. There's so many options that they give to you. You know, um, replaces enfeebling bolts. Not gonna apply bleeding enemies. Causes damage over time. Oh, interesting. Yeah, you know what? That's gonna be because it's, it's still the same shotgun blast. It's a different bolt. I really like that. Okay, let's get more blood. Oh wait, is this something new? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, these are weird. Wow. Oh, I see. That's like the flood. It's like those things that, yeah, they explode. Those 
gassy dudes. Like hunchbacks. You know what I'm talking about. Slice effect. Man, just making this easy mode. I do wonder if I could ramp up this uh, difficulty, um, like before I go into in, in, like as part of my oh probably part of the rune system. You get a rune, start at a higher difficult higher difficulty level or at a different floor or something. I reckon that's probably how it works. Oops, just went to hug that. I have two health. I hear I hear. Right, well, that's a that's a thing. Who's doing that to me? Whoa. I don't feel like I've been getting health 100% of the time I've been killing things. Have I? I may have uh, misinterpreted that. Let's see. Uh, chance of enrage. Clear mope. Just your right hand. Uh, have increased damage. 20% to 80%. Plus 3. Dang. Like, they're really... They're just so giving. I love it. Oh, this is an interesting one. Uh, chamber of healing. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, that's it? Shit. Okay, well, is there anything else? Okay, we got we got work to do. We have to die. And then I'm gonna get another power up. C. Which does from the left hand of increased rate of fire. Pressure from the right hand, plant a seed. There's a chance to explode on enemy's death. Wow. Uh from chance to enrage after collecting uh a moat. I mean this one's like plus three. Let's see. Chance to enrage after collecting a moat. Yeah, let's do it. Man, yeah, wow, this is, I mean, this is, if, if every run is like this, where you just feel super OP because of the choices you're being given, even if you don't necessarily do that much better than before, I got the same feeling when I played Masha Train. Like, I'll create some synergy between cards in, in my deck, and I'm just like, oh my god, this is, like, I am, I am, a, I'm a card god. Oh, nice, these things. Uh, and you'll feel, yeah, and you'll feel that way, just powerful. Until you face something that you just, you, you know, you didn't really think of or, you know, that your deck is weak against and that's it. And that's kind of the same thing that's going on here. Whoa. I should really look around before I do that. I hear something. I don't know if I've noticed the uh, the bleed effect from the slice. Because most everything is just dying. You know why? It's because I'm OP. It's because I'm OP. Ah, there it is. You see the uh, the debuff over his health bar. The health bar I complained about at the beginning of this. And now here we are, like 10 hours later. Uh, what am I looking for? That. There it is. Surely I can make this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was waiting for that. Pff, wow. Wow. Just eat shit, dudes. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> Let me see. Curse plus two. A projectile from your right hand apply curse to your enemies, causing. Okay. Cast your rage uh, after being injured. None of these are necessarily a. Um, Oh, left hand, chance to explode. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Add that to the pile. Oh, I'm perfect. And you guess what? We're going to go up. Return to the village. Perfect. Oh, man. This game is good. This game is really good. All right, so which one is... Who do I pick up? You must delve deeper. Okay. Am I going to have a... Uh... Did anybody pay attention to who we picked up? <laughs> I don't remember. Wait, what did he say? Have you found my villagers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just a villager, right? Uh... Oh, Rune of Calamity. Ooh, what is this? Rune, yeah, villagers, 1 out of 45. I guess I can't go see them, or they might be wandering around here. So you receive increased damage from all sources, but gain an extra moat each time you collect one in the pit. Wow. Yeah, see? Stuff like that is going to be pretty, pretty rad. Give me lots of those. Uh, I wonder if they're going to be seeds, like actual seeds that people can use. You know? I'm going to ring all these fucking bells anyway. Ah! That was him. Okay, cool. Um, or enough for this guy. 
Um, we see, see uh, buy support runes. So rune of health, rune of second wind, uh, rune of beginners of luck, and rune of early renewal. And then you can scroll down, and there's more. Rune of fortune, when collecting emotes, you you sometimes gain double the amounts. Uh, so double the amount. So double the amount on all these. So basically, just just rune up, right? On uh, the healing key, uh, just running a keystone heals you a small amount. That's pretty nice. Uh, healing moat, and collecting elemental moat heals you small amounts. Notice it says elemental moat, right? Because blood is not an element, so um, that's not an elemental moat. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Uh, rune of what? Or is it agility? This is a whole page, actually. I should be careful scrolling down. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot. Reduce the impact of slowing effects on you. Oh, you're not really moving faster or anything? Hmm. Mm hmm. Freaking healing pool. Robbed me. See, Rune of Blood, and see orbs, orbs of power, more like you know, frost abilities, curse abilities. Dude, this is a lot. I mean, obviously, lots of it's unavailable in the demo, but this is, I mean, this is just the runes. You know, this is just the runes. And then we're going to have like the, the, the key master and the enchantress and all that stuff. Like, I understand the runes is going to be a key part of the game because that's how you build out your, uh, your, your, your seed. Um, but, like, I mean, there's a lot of potential here, man. Yeah, uh, October 19th, 2021. Uh, I I would just say consider this my my Andy for Breakfast and my Steam Next Fest uh, uh, preview on it because I feel like we've seen enough. I'll probably pick this up on my own, and if it's if it's dramatically different and maybe completely disappointing, which I don't see that happening with this, um, then I will report back. But otherwise, that's it. You can go and check it out. It is uh, available, demos available on Steam, or you can just wait till October 19th and pick it up yourself. My name is Mike B. A.K. Phony. The game is called Into the Pit. I'll see you guys later.